Well, hey guys, today we're in Halton Memorial Park in Amory, Mississippi. We're going to visit the grave of and pay our respects to American actor John Dye. And since today is Memorial Day, we're going to stop off by a couple of veterans' graves that are just over here before we make our way through the cemetery to John's grave. Here's the grave of Kyle Thomas. He was killed in a training exercise in May of 2017. And just over here is the grave of Carlos Tart. He was killed in Vietnam in March of 1969. Now let's make our way through the cemetery and onto the grave of actor John Dye. And in her very first attempt at any interaction at all with these videos, my daughter is going to do some narration for you. John Carroll Dye was born in January 31st, 1963 in Amory, Mississippi. He was one of four sons and his parents were Jim and Lynn Dye, who were furniture manufacturers and homemakers. They raised their sons in the Methodist denomination, and the family eventually moved to Cleveland, Tennessee, where John Dye attended Cleveland High School. However, Dye ended up graduating from Tupelo High School in Tupelo, Mississippi. At both Cleveland High School and Tupelo High School, he was introduced to acting. In high school, he played the role of Friedrich von Trapp, in a school productions of The Sound of Music. Dye, after graduation, attended Mississippi State University in hopes of becoming a civil rights lawyer. However, he only attended university for one year before he dropped out to pursue his dream of becoming an actor. He was advised against this decision by his great-grandmother, but he still ended up transferring to Memphis State to major in theater. Dye's first role came in a Judd Nelson film called Making the Grade. This was filmed in 1984 and was filming in the Memphis area. Before getting his first big break, however, he was in the 1985 ZZ Top music video Sleeping Bag. He got his first lead role in 1987 in a film called Campus Man playing Todd Barrett. Dye's big break came in 1996, when he got cast as Andrew, otherwise known as the Angel of Death, on Touched by an Angel. He was originally cast as a recurring character, but eventually he got cast as a regular cast member because his character was so popular. The show ran for nine whole seasons before ending in April 2003. While acting in Touched by an Angel, he was also part of several Christmas movies. Some of Dye's roles in movies were in 1984 as Skip in Making the Grade, in 1989 Virgil Keller in Best of the Best, in 2005 D.A. Eric Mannion in Heart of the Beholder. He also had several TV roles. He got cast as Bob Holmby in Billionaire Boys Club in 1987, and he was also in Murder, She Wrote in several different times in 1988 and 1994. However, he played two different roles. In 1988, he played Andy Broom in the episode entitled A Little Night Work. And in 1994, he played Dr. Ray Stinson in the episode entitled A Nest of Vipers. His most famous role was obviously Touched by an Angel, as Andrew or the Angel of Death. This was from 1994 to 2003 and this was a main role. He was also in two movies made for television, Once Upon a Christmas and Twice Upon a Christmas, where he played the same role, Bill Morgan, in both movies. Dye sadly died at his home in San Francisco on January 10th, 2011 at the age of 47. His funeral was held several days later at St. Andrew's United Methodist Church in Amory, Mississippi, where his parents still resided and attended church. 
You know, John's role in Best of the Best was right beside fellow Mississippian James Earl Jones. When I was doing a little internet research on John, I found a website called Pay it forward in memory of John net. It's a neat website that started out as a Facebook group to help promote John's interest in charitable organizations and his interest in making the world a better place. One of my favorite John Dye quotes I found on that site was There are possibilities for goodness in a world that is very full of turmoil. See, John had a passion for acting, but also was terribly interested in making his world a better place. John's mother said of the website, It is beautiful and thoughtful, and it is our prayer that it will encourage everyone to give back to their community. The website encourages you to give to the youth group at St. Andrew's United Methodist Church, their church, if you can find no other organization with which you want to give. Mom also says that Jim and I love our church home and believe strongly that the youth are the heart and core of the future. The grave you are walking up to now is that of Mississippi actor John Carroll Dye. And just to the right is the grave of his mother, Lynn Dye, with whom he had a very special relationship. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about actor John Dye today and maybe feel encouraged to help in your community where you can. Thank you. Mm-hmm.